Stop making excuses and take personal responsibility for your actions. To be a successful company, it isn't about holding everybody accountable. It's about everybody holding themselves accountable that makes the organization so successful. I'm gonna share four steps to help you build your personal accountability skills at work. Hi everyone, my name is Trisha Palmieri and I'm a business coach and career consultant dedicated to driving passion and purpose in talent development. Follow these steps for greater ownership and accountability at work. First, look at yourself in all situations. You are accountable for your actions. Whatever role you have in your organization, you are the example of accountability. When you push blame or make excuses or say things aren't your fault, you teach everyone in your circle of influence that it's okay to play the victim. By taking personal accountability, you accept the outcome of your choices, actions, and behaviors. The second step is to own your mistakes. If you made it, own it. It's not always an easy thing to do, but if you don't own your mistakes, it shows lack of personal accountability. Take the steps to right the wrong, focus on the solution, and be honest and genuine with your approach. This will show others that you will do what it takes to correct the mistake or to stop it from happening again. Your behavior and actions after the mistake are critical in showing up as an accountable leader. The third step is to manage your time. I realize time management is a concept and skill all on its own, but whatever your level of mastering time is, you need to find a way to manage it. Procrastination is a common and easy way to avoid accountability. You can come up with every reason not to do something. You can even justify not doing something at all, but that only delays dealing with the situation and taking responsibility. Ultimately, what it means is that someone else will have to pick up your slack. This can affect your professional reputation. So set goals to manage your time so you don't get derailed from completing your tasks. The fourth and final step is to find an accountability buddy. Nobody Nobody is perfect, and let's face it, we can all get off track quickly without even realizing it. You need to own your accountability, but having a little support can help get you there quickly. Make sure you choose someone that you trust, but will be brutally honest with you. You need to hear the truth if you're making excuses so that you can fix it. So to recap, highly accountable leaders look at themselves first, own their mistakes, manage their time, and gain support if they need it. Comment below how you keep yourself accountable, and let me know if any of these steps were helpful to you. Share with someone that might need a little inspiration or direction in getting out of excuses mode. If you're looking for an accountability buddy, consider joining my Facebook group, The Leadership Lounge. It's a place to share best practices and collaborate on all things related to business and people. The link to the group is included below. Thanks for watching.